Hi everyone, I'm Charlene Habermeyer of Good Parenting Brighter Children, and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. Today we're going to talk to you and point out to you some amazing books that have to do with music topics. Some of them are interactive and things that you can do with your children. All of them teach amazing lessons. So the first one is one of my favorites, Miss Mary Mack. It's like a, a rhythmic type of a um, little ditty that you can do with your children. There's hand motions in the beginning of the book. It gives you all the hand motions. You and your child are facing each other, and then you do the, the different hand motions. And there, it's just kind of a quirky little rhyme about Miss Mary Mac, 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 all dressed in black, 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 and it goes on, and just the repetition of it. So it's a great thing anytime that you are introducing rhythm uh, into your child's play or into anything that you're doing with them, it helps with brain organization. So keep that in mind because I've talked about the importance of like marching with your kids and having them march. Well, this one they're using hand movements, so they're actually doing the movement, which helps with the motor area of the brain, and it's a sing songy rhythm that they can actually sing. So again, because they're utilizing these different aspects of music, it helps in all of those areas. The next one is one of my very favorites as well. It's Moses Goes to a Concert. Moses is a little boy who's deaf. And he, he's in a class for deaf children. And his teacher tells him that they're going to go to a concert. Now you're kind of thinking in the back of your mind, they're deaf, how are they going to hear? Well, the children sit on the front row, and each one of them is handed a balloon to hold. Now, through the balloon, they're going to feel the vibrations of the music Afterwards, then the conductor has them come up on stage where the floors are wooden and they take off their shoes and socks and they're walking, on, they're able to feel through the floorboards the vibration of some of the percussion instruments that they play. And they explain to them this is exactly what happened with Beethoven when he went completely deaf. He sought off those um, legs of his piano, put it right smack down on the floorboards, the wooden floor, and he could feel the vibrations coming through the floor. This is a fun thing to do with your kids. Give them each a balloon. If you have some kind of a stereo or whatever in your home that has speakers, have them hold the balloon up to the speakers and they will definitely feel the vibrations coming through the balloon. And if you have wood floors and you're playing music or if you have some instrument that you could play, if they're on the wood floor, they will feel the vibrations of that particular instrument coming through. This also gives a lot of um, American Sign Language as well. So there's many things that you can do with this book. Along with that is another one. It's uh, Rubber Band Banjos and a Java, Java Bass. I love this one if you like science and if you have a child who enjoys science. It goes into all the different aspects of music and science. It shows you how to make all these different instruments. In fact, pretty much every instrument, they give you simple ways that you can do it and all the ways they help you to help your child to understand about music and how it's structured and the vibrations and anything that vibrates produces a sound. So this one is really fun and then it has little tiny tidbits of information about animals, how animals communicate uh, with each other through sound, how they communicate by rustling their wings together through sound in all these different and interesting ways. This is a great book, particularly as your kids are getting older around the seven, eight, nine, ten stage. And even some of these ideas can be used like for um, science projects when they get into junior high school, middle school. <clears throat> Okay, if you want to introduce your child to opera, this one is a great book, The Magic Flute. Mozart wrote The Magic Flute, and it's basically a story of good versus evil. But the music is amazing. So if you're going to take your child to see The Magic Flute, make sure that you get a CD and you get this book, read them the story, explain to them the story, and then listen to the music. One of my very favorite pieces, I like Papagena, there's a lot of it in the Magic Flute that I love, but one of them is an aria that is sung by the, uh, the Queen of the Night, and she's actually wicked and awful. But she sings this aria, and I think she sings a high 
F above high C or a high A above high C or something like that is amazing. Um, you can rent the movie Amadeus and you can see that part uh, of the Queen of the Night when she's singing. And you can show your kids that part when she's singing and she hits that super high note. Another fun one is Ms. McDonald Had a Class. And this is to the tune of Old McDonald Had a Farm. All right, so this is one of those sing-songy rhythms that you can read the story, you can sing the story, you can get up and dance and move to the story. You can do all of those fun things. And your kids, especially young kids, will love this. Anytime there's more to them just sitting there listening to the story, if they can get up and move, it's really helpful. Now, these next two books are a lot of dialogue in them, so they're appropriate for older kids. There's Dance Me a Story and Sing Me a Story. Dance Me a Story is all about ballet, and Sing Me a Story, of course, is all about opera. And it gives all the different stories and some of the background, and so it gives you a lot of good information. And there was a series that we did, an opera series. I wanted my kids to be exposed to at least one opera. I was exposed to my first opera when I was nine. My grandmother took me to see uh, Richard Wagner's Tannhauser, <laughs> which was a little over the top for the, a child at the age of nine. But what I loved about it is I loved seeing the costumes and I loved listening to the music. So if you give your kids a little bit of background prior to going to them, it will help a lot. And those two books can be very helpful. Now this is a fun one. This is The Lives of the Musicians, Good Times, Bad Times, and What the Neighbors Thought. Okay, so it goes into all of the musicians from the Baroque period all the way to the 20th century. It includes people like George Gershwin and Woody Guthrie and Nadia Boulanger, who was French and she was a composer and a conductor. And it gives you all different fun and funny facts about each one of these musicians. This one, if you, um, I wish I had this book around when I started an orchestra in 1999 because to be honest with you, in the beginning I didn't know what I was doing and I couldn't find any books about it. This one comes with a CD and it goes into the entire structure of the orchestra, how the chairs are set up, each one of the instrumentation sections of the orchestra and so forth. Because, so it gives you a lot of really solid and good information. Uh, the illustrations are great, they're beautiful, and they're fun to watch, and it's a fun book to read. Now, there's other books that um, are more light, like Alligators and Music, and Meet the Orchestra, and Berlioz the Bear. Any books that you can find relating to music to help your kids, you know, kind of mix it up so that they get a lot of fun information, but a lot of good factual information as well. You can go to my resource library and it gives you even a larger list. And one thing I forgot to mention is if you are teaching them about the orchestra and the instruments of the orchestra and you want to help to develop their aural skills, which are their listening skills, then by all means get Brent Benjamin Britten's Young Person's Guide to the Orchestra. I had showed you this CD in another one of these tidbit seg uh, segments that I did, and that's an excellent one. And all of these books that I had just shared with you, you can add music to it at any time to help your kids. I hope this is a, a really good basis for you to start with some of these books. I would highly suggest that you start with Miss Mary Mack and Moses Goes to a Concert and then go from there. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow.